Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Rogue. This one is the Chocolate Stout Nitro. Mm, you I had mean, me a Nitro. I've been kind of waiting on this one. Okay. Now, this is the 5.8% alcohol. It said 69 IBUs. Seems like a little high. <sighs> Did you hear the nitro sound? Magic to my ears. <sighs> Now, we'll go ahead and pour this one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Give me that dark, dark. Motor oil. Dark. Not a lot of head on it. No, I was actually really expecting a little more head. But um, it is dark. Now. Oh, there you go. There's a little more on the end. There we go. We're starting to get a little more. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Uh, it smells. It says drink it straight out of the can or to see the cascade, open it and quickly pour upside down into a glass. Now, we can't quite do that into two glasses, so, eh. Um, Considering it's a nice little head on each one. It says the chocolate stout nitro is ebony in color, pours a velvety, smooth, and creamy head that cascades to a robust, earthy body, giving way to a rich chocolate truffle finish. Now, I'm not going to act like I don't really enjoy the vast majority of rogue beers. There's only one thing that kind of got me on this. 13.65 fluid ounces. It's a big can, but it's really only 12 ounces. Wow. That's my only issue. Now, I got this in one of my favorite little, uh, you can buy some singles place. Cost me less than $3. Um, so I'm not upset. Ready to get in there? Oh, heck yeah. The smell is already amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It has a chocolate. Oh. Let's see. I might zoom in. Let's see if she really digs it. You feeling it? Oh, wow. Oh, that chocolate. Mm. Okay. All right. Let me it has see. a dark chocolate little bit of bitter on the back end. Exactly what you would expect from a stout, especially on nitro. Listen to somebody whose favorite beers mm. are probably stouts and nitros over here talking. Wow. Okay, let me give it a shot. The smell, it's definitely got a stout. Mm. I, I, I smell just a... It's a chocolate stout. A hint stout. of chocolate. Oh. All right, I'm getting in there. You just want to hold it on your tongue. Now, maybe I'm reading that wrong. Mm. That says 69 IBUs, doesn't it? It does. Okay, I I can't figure out how they're getting 69 IBUs out of that. Mm. There is no discernible hop note. No. It is smooth as glass. It has a roasty, chocolatey, just, oh. Super clean. Mm. Um, I would say it has a dark chocolate as opposed to a milk mm. chocolate. That's that little bitterness that you get in it. Which I like, but it's not bitter. It's not it's offensive. the bitterness. Mm -hmm. All right, now here is something interesting. It says on here, Pairs, pair it with pot roast, vanilla ice cream. Oh, I can definitely say vanilla ice cream. It says aged cheddar. Mm. I have some cheese curds. I love cheese curds. Let's see how it pairs with cheese curds. Mm. 
I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, just not even drinking, just having the leftover taste of the beer in your mouth and taking that little bite. Oh, my gosh. Mm. It tastes, it changes your whole palate. I'm, uh, I'm right in there with them. Mmm. Man, that's good. Oh, wow. You hear it? Mm -hmm. It's so thick. Oh, yeah. Rogue, you've done it again. Wow. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. Apparently, chocolate and cheese go well together. Oh, I've known that. <laughs> I really didn't. Mm, oh, yeah, chocolate and cheese. I don't know, like cheese good. and fruit went well together. Mm -hmm. I didn't know chocolate and cheese did. Chocolate and cheese are good together. Okay. Um, well, if you guys are digging this video, wow. hit the like. It not only helps the video, it helps the channel. Uh, let's talk about this beer and other beers that you may want to see. Well, go down there in the comments. Subscribe. I do it at least three times a week, sometimes even more. When you look in my description, I'll have some stuff written up about this. But I've got a merch store. Hey, it's beer stuff for beer people by beer people. You guys buy some stuff. It gives me beer money. To make more videos. And I make more videos and we have more fun. Um, let's get down to it. Did you dig it? Yes. Heck yes. I'm super happy with this. Mm. Um, would you have another? Yes. I, I would really like to have another. <laughs> I would like right to have now. another right now. Um, does it have seekability? I think so. I'm going to actively mm. look for this. Yeah. Um, I know where I got it. I will look for more. I mm. also know another place to look for it. I'm going to look for more. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to have more. Okay. Pick six. Um, if Ooh, you're into stouts, don't even bother. Just with pick go six. ahead and get the. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Just, just get it. Um, now, more cheese. Mm. So it gets right down to it. Wow. One to ten. One pint's the lowest. Ten pints the highest. Nine. I'm right there with you. I mean, heck, I would never even thought about drinking chocolate stouts with cheese. Yeah. Wow. Now I want to try it with pot roast. <laughs> it says right here pot roast. It also says vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, that's fine. Chocolate, vanilla. Okay, I've got you. Pot roast. I would never have thought pot roast. Oh my God, that, wow. Maybe that's an excuse to get, mm, get my sister to make some pot roast on her family dinner night. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, Chris has already finished hers. Have a had my adventure. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. Ooh, a little bit.